what's up you guys so um this video is not easy for us to make but we wanted to come on here to tell you guys the truth um it's fine i don't want to cry about this anymore i'm very very emotional about the situation because i feel like this is why i don't have a lot of girlfriends but we wanted to tell you guys about the texas trip our texas trip um how it went the truth behind it um not everything is always what it seems online so yeah. i don't want to start off with a negative maybe we should start off with like the positive of mm -hmm. the trip of the whole trip entirely yeah but um, the longer you hold it in um the harder it's gonna be to kind of like share with them so i mean all right let me just um start off with the positive just so like you know so I can make you feel a little bit comfortable. Um, so we went to Texas for a week, from Tuesday to Tuesday, a whole week. And we went straight to um, San Antonio to visit Melinda's sister who just had a baby. And we had a blast there. The baby's freaking adorable. And the uh, four-year-old just started school, so we yeah. just wanted to make sure we were there for his first day of school. Yeah, and that was awesome. Yeah, I was actually babysitting the whole time we were there. We were the there newborn. for two days, two nights. Yeah. And I was babysitting mon like morning, <laughs> afternoon, night. I was changing you diapers. You actually did a good job. And I really wished we had a chance to vlog that. Right, right, right. That was so awesome. My Even my sister was just like, mm -hmm. wow, you you guys are prepared like he she was like maybe not you 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 could use a little more patience um but, was, but she said that would come naturally when right. you give birth but she said with brenton you, you're the that on was like dad mode. yeah she said you were so helpful she was able to do her errands and mm -hmm. like freely and brenton had no complaints mm -hmm. and i would come back just to try to spend some time with my nephew every time he makes a little noise brenton's like oh i know what's wrong <laughs> so yeah, cute. he was sleeping on my chest that we both beautiful. fell asleep we were watching cartoon together. Mind you, this is like a three month old baby. I don't yeah, even know what cartoon they watch. Months. Two months old? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> they all look the same to me. But um, <laughs> we stayed there. We had a joyful, you know, two days, family joyful time, time, family time. We didn't even have time to, to vlog or do some TikToks. Right. We didn't even pick up the camera. I mean, I didn't want to put people's babies on camera because yeah, that's, that's not true, my baby. That's true. And, you know, I was gonna just, like privacy like, and stuff. Blur. Nah, no. privacy. <laughs> Anyways, anyways um, yeah so that was the plan anyways yeah. to spend some time quality time with um family see my sister mm -hmm. see my nephew go to school first day of school and then our plan was to drive kind of do a little road mm -hmm. trip yeah. to dallas since yeah. my older sister lives in dallas mm -hmm. so we thought it would be awesome to go visit and mm -hmm. make it a week trip you yeah. know what i mean so also, we've been in communication with another influencer by the name of, you know, Destiny, Destiny and Brandon. Brandon. You guys know them. So the way we actually started talking to them, guys, is actually my sister mm. told me about them. And this was around the time we were just getting started with social media. And she was just like, oh my God, check out Destiny and Brandon. They're so funny. They're hilarious. I looked at them and I was like, oh my God so like they're freaking awesome i love them so we were like okay they live in dallas you're moving to dallas mm -hmm. earlier this year um yeah. brenton started texting and dming brandon right. even before we planned the trip we've yeah. already been contacting them yeah. just because although we followed each our other supporters, our actually, supporters was both supporters us. yeah we're saying oh my god you guys have to do a collab definitely yeah, they do a collab. were waiting for a collab yes man. I feel like this is where the part of social media where you should like sometimes I feel like you should ignore the fans request mm -hmm. sometimes because it can backfire and when I tell you it's backfire yeah it backfire they don't know I mean, the, the, you the, guys are the watching supporters don't so, know. well I don't blame you guys obviously you guys see two wonderful couples behind a camera you mm -hmm. guys are making you guys laugh and we in the same niche, we do similar content and you guys would love to see both of us collab and see yeah. what comes out of it. Yeah. So you guys don't know, but like us also, we didn't really know. We exactly. vibe with them on, on the online, mm -hmm. everything was cool and we were excited. They invited us 
to come to Dallas. They said we should collab <laughs> definitely. Yeah. And then whenever you guys are in Dallas, we should definitely collab. Or whenever they're in Boston, we'll definitely meet yeah. up. And it just, just happened. Just we went to Dallas first. Mm -hmm. And that's when everything just Changed. started revealing itself. Yeah. You know, social media is a B-I-T-C-H, I'm telling you. Um, somebody could be one thing on social media and another personality yeah. in real life. And the thing is, this is why I don't, like this, what we're about to say, guys, like, and I don't even, I don't even want to talk about this. I mean, Just because I feel like it makes me emotional. I don't have friends because I don't like drama. Mm -hmm. I don't like getting into, you know, any type of altercation. I don't like confrontation. Mm -hmm. I run away from that. Although I seem like an extrovert, which I am, well, I would say, I would say I'm in between. Hmm? That some of your other female friends is that why you you yes. dis you distance yes. yourself I from distan your other exactly I distance friends? myself a lot from a lot of people that I used to associate myself with now I just associate myself with my husband and um, people are just are very different from what they what you see online mm -hmm. and it's not just you know a me thing yeah. or you, you know it's a to, both of us thing like yeah. and the thing is we like couples you know yeah. we're a couple yeah. you know what i mean and mm -hmm. i like i like f making new friends so their personality online was really welcoming though but that's the difference between online and in real life yeah so we had to go over there but to, do you hold on do you want to do this right now like in, i feel like that's a negative vibe to our channel though um, like i i, I want to be wanna, honest but like i don't want to say everything like what part, you what have, parts do you want to say you have to let them know you have to let them know anything like that's that's what the supporters is like our family so we have to let them know like they can't just think like everything is peachy and cream and then they I don't know, know. But you know this is uncomfortable for me but. i know but you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta let it out and um what do you want to begin let's just start from the part where we got to Dallas. Okay, go ahead. So we got to Dallas and stayed with my sister. We had fun and everything. We let them know that, hey, we're here. When you guys want to meet up? And um, weird thing is, we didn't know what was going to happen, but they invited us to their home. Mm -hmm. And we were both nervous. I'm not really a big energy person, but the fact that we both were nervous and we both were feeling uneasy mm -hmm. that should say a lot yeah, so keep me, this part before we continue yeah for me i'm an introvert but i'm trying to get out of my bubble so and also you know doing contents and stuff like that you definitely have to network and i took that opportunity when they invited us to their home to be like okay let's go but at the same time you were nervous I had butterfly in my in my stomach. I was um, I didn't know you can meet someone online and they're one thing, and then when you meet them in person, it's completely different. Mm -hmm. So when they invited us to their home, um, we actually drove about twenty minutes the whole time. We're like, can we do this? Yeah, can should we, we like, turn around? Should we turn this around? Is this is not good. And as soon as they open the door, I will tell you guys. As soon as they open the door. I was like, wow, yeah. this energy is different. Like, this is a whole different vibe from what we were getting mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. This is not the same person. Like, it's just like. It just confirmed everything. Yeah, it just that confirmed we're about everything. Because you know, when you enter someone's house, you can kind of feel the energy of the home. Mm -hmm. You can see if it's like good or bad. Like, you know how sometimes you go to the, your neighbor's house, like, oh, no way, I'm not yeah. staying. Yeah, yeah. So, Anybody that walk into somebody's home, you already feel the energy. Yeah. When as soon as we walk in there, Melinda told me like kind of like, kind of like you know, give me a sign like yo. As soon as we walked into their home, it was a vibe. It was a vibe. <laughs> I'm you, I'm like yo. This is the couple we've been looking for in our life. Not even for social media content. Not for influencing. Not for our job. Mm. This is the couple we've been looking for. <laughs> oh my god let me tell you man brendan and destiny they were oh so god. welcoming 
And Brendan, man, Brendan is the vibe. The dude is very positive. Very He's positive. very vibrant. He's he has a lot of energy, a lot more energy than I do. I had yes. to keep a up. little more than me too, because you, you know, have a lot so of energy. Me, I'm the energy person in our relationship. Yeah, and Brendan is, and I thought he had way more energy. Oh my than god, me. And, and Brendan have a lot of energy. Let me tell you, man. If yes. you're like an introvert. And you around Brendan, you're gonna come out of your shell. Yes. Me, gonna... I'm an introvert, but when I'm out, I try to keep up. Yeah. But damn, Brendan <laughs> has a lot of energy. And Destiny's awesome, awesome. man. She's, she's very so sweet. She's very nice. She's very well put together. Well put together. Doll. She... Like that's oh my that's my bestie right there. Like that's it. Like and you know he keeps saying and I keep saying I don't have any friends, but guess what? That's yeah. that's my friend. Right I was there. Like, really that's it. really surprised how Melinda and Destiny. Clicked. I know it's the fact crazy. that she's an introvert. You guys introvert. have a lot of similar. Similarities. Yes, we do have a lot of similarities, but I am an extrovert mm -hmm. slash but introvert. Think, I'm like both. I, I think say. you yeah, both yeah. a little bit in, but yeah. I'm an introvert, but uh, yeah. Brendan is an extrovert. Mm -hmm. you know? And you guys click. We click very well because it's dude. It's, it's real easy for dude to, yeah. to click. Literally, like they took us out. They literally yes. show us around the city. They they're, took us bowling. Gave they, us great advice. Oh like my god! Every, let me tell like you, they're man. like a good friend and as well very motivating as mm -hmm. well. And very to, motivating. So the fact that you just met us in person and you're right. that nice and you're that, that encouraging, giving. that giving, yes. that like literally, there's some stuff that we learned from them that we we never even knew. Exactly. And the fact that they were just so nice enough to just share mm -hmm. everything with us and and encourage us and yeah. you know that's what you. Need. Like uplifting friends, positive friends, yeah. and guys, trust me, this business, this content creating business, is definitely, definitely hard. Yeah. And to find good people, yeah. not just people to just do content with, because yeah. there's other times where after we met up, did content, or before we met up and mm -hmm. did content and mm -hmm. stuff, whatever, we even hung out yeah, as we well, went like out to eat, went out to eat, no bowling. cameras, whatever, just bowling, hanging out, yeah. just straight vibe. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they're like. All in one, a friend, content creator, travel could be travel buddy. Yeah. Hopefully, we were like, this is the couple yeah. we've been waiting yeah. for. Yeah, the South is very different too. Yes. Though. like they had the Southern, what is it called, the Southern, southern hospitality. hospitality. <laughs> Over here up north, we're different, and yeah. I had to learn. I'm like, wow, this is very like different. Brandon yeah. is just like. You know, nice. hey, you want to drink? Here we go, bro. Yeah. Hey, you want to boat? Here we go, let's go. Hey, you want to go hookah? Hey, you want to get taco? I'm like, bro, I, I feel like, I'm like, yeah, I have to keep, I have to, you know, chip in too. I don't want to just kind of, so you know. Nice. It's so nice. And um, when people are so nice to you like that, I feel like, you know. That's you our should, bro. That's yeah, our bro you like should that. definitely share the same, like, you know, you should share, like, you know, your positiveness that you have in your life as well. Because... He's paying for everything, and I'm like, I need to chip in too because I don't want you to pay for everything, bro. But oh my God, let me let me tell you, man, yeah. they're a great couple, they're great friends, the love is and there. they don't let this social media thing get into their head. No. Um, they're very uh, much motivating us to keep going, mm -hmm. and like those those these are two people that like you know that come into your life that that's very rare. Yeah, and, and it's so weird that we met through social media. Like we're in Boston, they're in Dallas, right. and. I didn't think we would click like that, right, to be honest. Yeah. Like I didn't, I feel like I've been a little scarred <laughs> with previous friendships. But you can't I, take your scars I, everywhere. I, I'm not taking my scars everywhere. No, I'm not doing that to Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> I will not do that to Destiny. But I feel like I've been a little, you know, beat around the bushes throughout my life with friendship that mm -hmm. I was not really expecting much. And the fact that it was like, they were like that, mm -hmm. I was really, really shocked. Yeah. Everything you see on TV, Brendan's hyperness, her it, chill and stylishness and beauty. She's a freaking that's, doll. That's like, what you. See that's in what person. you're gonna see in person too. And like, so the fact perfect, that they opened perfection. their home to us, it's yeah, to mind strangers. blowing. To strangers, we're two strangers to coming strangers. to you. You don't know us like that. <laughs> and then when we try to freak them, say we leave moving. <laughs> <laughs> Although we were nervous, we had our little bags oh in our God. car. We're like, should we go get this? Yeah, it was very. <laughs> Nerve wracking to do this prank. <laughs> it was even like I think I think that was like the second meetup and stuff, right. whatever. But still, we were still a little nervous. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we felt like we were sisters. Mm -hmm. We were brothers. Mm -hmm. We were family. Like we felt we felt like that. They yeah. were they were definitely fair. They're like 
kind of make me want to move down there too. The a same lot of vibe, my sister living there. The same vibe they give us on Dallas. social media is the same vibe they give us in person, person. honestly. Yeah. And we can't thank them enough to for them to kind of like welcome welcome us that much. Yes. Um, it's a big thank you. We really appreciate you, Destiny and Brendan. Brendan. And you guys show exactly. us around the city. And we really appreciate it, even though it was like 95, 100 degrees walking around, getting I in the car. It. I but I love the hot weather, so it doesn't bother me. Um, we even thinking about moving over there. Who knows? Yeah, especially the fact that my sister lives down there. Yeah. So I'm like, I my have uncle's family, already there. My uncle's there. Yeah. So you never know, guys. We might move down to Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll I'll, hey, I'll, sh- I'll let you guys know, know if we do but well you guys are gonna see eventually i do but, love um, it over there i do love it, um, like yeah. it guys we've been having some withdrawals coming back to boston there are some days where we felt like uh we don't want to do anything just because we're like damn we want to be back in dallas i'm like damn why did i come back early again I told it's, you. It's because we had a meeting at work, and I was like, I don't want to miss the meetings. Oh, I was gonna. Miss <laughs> I was gonna miss that meeting. I was like, okay. You we, know mind what? you, we didn't even have a plane ticket back, so we could have come we back didn't. anytime. Yeah, we could have. Yeah, because yeah. we so, bought a one way to San Antonio, and then the next flight was from Dallas to Boston. But we were like, let's just wing it. Mm-hmm. And then I saw the email that we had a meeting, so I'm just mm-hmm. like, maybe we should make. Maybe we should get out of here. (laughs) But guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe to Destiny and Brandon. Their link is down in the description below. And um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.